I'm Duncan Ferguson and you're watching Toffee TV. Welcome back to Toffee TV. We're doing the season review. We've got Matt and Ronnie Goodless in the studio. Um, Ron, I'll start with you again. Where do you think it all went wrong? Because for me, I mean, obviously there's the situation in the summer not getting the right players in, but looking back now, it feels like the John Stone situation just left a big cloud over the, the not only the player himself, but just just the general air of the fans and, and, and the club. Well, it deflated everyone. I mean, I mean, instead of sort of an Everton football club, and who we getting in, what a great season we're going to have. It was, is he going, is he staying, are Chelsea coming in? I was just like a soap opera, mm. just carried on and on. And great that we kept him, fantastic, you know, making the statements. But I just think everything else, it was like a sideshow. Yeah. And then we ended up, as Matt said, over the first game against Watford. It's no surprise when you think back, you know, with, with Troy Deeney up front, mm. a few others, you just think, there's two up top again. They've only just got promoted. They should have beat us that day. Mm. Now, when, when you go through the season as it goes on, th there's more like red flags coming up thinking, hang on, you've got to do something here. Yeah. And then again with the Johnson, it just went on too long. And, and, and I just think, uh, you know, signing-wise, um, you know, there's times when, you know, it's good for you, you, you end up with a couple of uh, signs, but I just think we missed the trick on a lot of them. And as I said with John Stones there, uh, it should have been made more clear earlier on. I, I'm not sure I'd agree with that. I, I, I think... Looking back at it now, I would I felt quite emboldened by the whole thing in a way because I was sort of expecting Everton to sell when, yeah. when when the when the money came in for Chelsea. I thought eventually you might go. Obviously the champions there, manager like Mourinho looking at him, and I think the way the club kind of put the chest out a little bit over it all and said he's not going anywhere. He put that statement out. Everyone was 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 made up about it. Mm -hmm. They had that fans start singing that song about him, and I remember his performances around that time were actually really good. Yeah. Went to Southampton, he had a brilliant game. Um, had obviously, a nightmare had, at had a nightmare at Barnsley, but you think well, that was the, the day, you wasn't think it? Back to the Chelsea game when he played Chelsea in that it match. It was John then, though, wasn't it? And he had a, yeah, but again, I'm talking about when it all went wrong. At that time, I still thought we were going in the right direction, mm. and he was playing well. <clears throat> I remember going to Swansea, and he was outstanding there as well, man of the match. Against Arsenal, West he had a really Ham, good game. Unreal. West Ham. And I think, I think with Stones, I think it was just a case of a young player, 21 year old centre half. Mm. He's always going to have a, a lull in form, and I think the fact that we didn't then take him off the team, we, we left him in there for too long, I think that kind of soured the whole thing and made it worse. So I, I wouldn't necessarily say it was the fact that we, we didn't sell him in the saga, which, which made us start the season badly, because if you think back, uh, that was actually some of the best football we played all season in, in those first few months. Mm, yeah, but if you look back at what you just said, it, it was... Because he started to, to believe in the press that was wrote about him. Mm. The manager never had a go at him for defending. Yeah. And, that, and the longer the season went on, that, that's where that, what I've said. Well, I've said, obviously, we've all got our opinions. Mm. But I think, again, he just thought Barcelona's coming in, Chelsea's done mm. and dusted down, this and that. And you've seen him for England. He's made mistakes for England. And as I say, Jags must be sitting in the house thinking, don't you want defenders over there? Yeah. Now, it's great when he comes out, fantastic, but I still say, that's why Leicester won the league because they've got defenders who can defend, and all this about a little body swerve and a little thing, a little mm. clap, stop it. You know, Arsenal with Adams and all these Keown and all that. That's how you win championships and silverware. Not fellas who are fancy dance yeah. at the back. You know, you've got to defend. Yeah, well, I think I, I think on the more general point, the good point you made there on about uh, the the discipline of them because I mean, <laughs> Bass was going on about it for months. To be honest, he he just. John Stones, uh, he did start just doing all these stupid things. It was just for him. But just for him. But the ma manager let him get away with them, didn't yeah. he? And, and it was almost like it was almost like, well, I can't upset him because he's already not like he's already thrown his toys at the pram, but or uh, well, Rio Ferdinand actually said because Rio used to play like that for West Ham and then gets the move mm. to Man United. Young players have got to make mistakes. And you go, maybe once. Yeah. Mm. But not two, three, four, and then the manager comes out and again. I, I'm, I'm one for loyalty. But I tell you now, you've got to say it how it is and just turn and say, John, you know, Rosehead, mate. I you think. Know, you, you know, you haven't moved to Barcelona yet. Yeah. You, you know, you, you've got to do it for Everton football. There was too you. many people who were using us as a training exercise in the media. <laughs> doesn't matter if he makes mistakes, he's a young player. When he moves, when yeah. he moves, yeah. he'll be sound for his next club. Well, sorry, I'm. Um, exactly. Wherever. Exactly. <laughs> wherever. Totally right. totally sorry, right. so, but it's bollocks. We, we, I think it went wrong. It really, really. I, th I kind of agree with Ronnie in terms of. I wish we'd have just come out straight away and gone, 
It's not for sale, even for a hundred yeah, million. That's the only thing. Even I, for a hundred million, thing I'd say. go away. They should have done it. Right. Have made it because there was yeah. talk. There was talk. The there was talk that he was told that he could go for a certain price, and that price. Was that met. price was met, and when that price was met, certain people sat to turn around and look stupid because it got to the point where they. And they wanted more. Well, no, I don't think it was anything to do with that one. I think I think, well, I I think it was politics. Defense, I think it was just that can't, that was. Like, we no, remember, I think it's the state. The to say that. We, we we remember they carried on. We Chelsea when we asked well, them. Remember, remember, you don't have to go back to the Southampton game. Remember the plane was flying about Bill Kenn, right? Yeah. And you just think that it was almost like if they'd sold stones. You can imagine how pot the politics. Because I remember yeah. doing like radio and stuff at the time. People saying to me, "Oh, you should." I mean, you just don't understand the politics of this football club. You don't understand how. Our, some of our fans are on the on the edge, and if you sell him, that that'll push them over. Mm. And I, I think they had the the bluff call. Ever yeah, to yeah. be fair, yeah, yeah. I think that he said forty million, no chance. And then Chelsea when he asked forty million, yeah. and suddenly a few people had to backtrack. And I think if anything, that might have upset the player more than anything else. He was ready. We all know he was ready for the move. I mean, um, so I think that could have been. I think. I think you're right. I mean, I think. He was he was made promises and then the promises were broken. And I think when you break your promise to a player, I think if it was me if I'd have been dealing with him, I'd have said you're off for sale, no mm. matter what. Yeah, yeah. Get your head down, yeah. even if they come in at seventy. Yeah. Maybe next season we'll have a look, but you're not for sale now. And that's the end of but it. But again, it was handled wrong. But it's handled it? wrong. Yeah. And then once out. the season starts, I think Matt's right, we we played some good football early on. You know, the Watford game. Forget that, but then we won a South Dance and we beat Chelsea, you know, we got a little bit of rhythm going. West Brom games as well. We United the though game down. still was a was a was like it was such a strange game because mm. I fully expected us with our yeah. die and I fully expected us to trunk them and they beat us. The game, as I think that was a week ago. But that you, you day you were me? like, yeah. this was, and then Howard dropped the calamitous things at Arsenal. Comes doing Superman, but then Bournemouth. I think I don't think I look any further than Bournemouth, and that to me was the day when I just went. He hasn't. He does. He really can't see the basic stuff mm. because. Having been through the lot of cruising, it went to 2-2. We then score a goal that we probably didn't deserve from Ross. And he makes a substitution. The most pointless substitution ever. No, 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 no. At that point, at it was... That, a <laughs> 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 no, that, that was one of them. The kid, come on, the Bournemouth right-back came on, or the left-back came on, Matthew the day and said, when Barkley scored, as Everton were about to kick off, he said to the referee, how long? And the ref went, it's done, it's over. And then... Lo and behold, yeah. Everton make a substitution. Gibbs, yeah. So that's so 30 that, seconds. That right, right, and they yeah. score 18 seconds after yeah. the restart. Yeah. I think, I and think that's to make yeah. the wheels came off after that. That's it. I think, it, I think if you look at from then onwards, that, that team went through so many mental blows, like yeah. late goals conceded against them, losing positions, surrendered. And I think time after time, because it is a young squad, and, and you know, the players in there who are still learning, and to go, to go through that Bournemouth game, to go through the Stoke game on Boxing Day that's when they were 3-2 up, to go through the ch- even that, Matt, Chelsea, even Stoke at home, Leicester at Stoke home, West there. Leicester at home, losing, the losing against City, throwing it away against City, and then throwing it away against West Ham, we were two 0 up as well. There's, there's, there's enough in that space of time. It's been two or three months, to, you know, enough heartache for the space of five, we four had, or five seasons. We got to April and we'd won four games well, at home. In is, a year. <laughs> is that one of the big things then? When we were playing well, we weren't winning enough games of football so obviously when it turned round towards the end of the season for whatever reason when we started playing poorly we were terrible I mean that, that to me I, I just remember every week match of the day saying Evan are great to watch but we were losing games really? so we were drawing games we weren't winning yeah, games great for them, yeah. we weren't yeah, winning yeah. games when we were playing well and, that, that, and I think that's what that's what introduced Stoke, Stoke no. at home we're 3-2 yeah. up with 9 minutes yeah. to go and we get B4 I mean, but again he, he, he brought on he, he brought, brought on, on uh, a, a striker didn't he he brought Naismith on I mean, but we had like 5 forwards on the pitch yeah. and then he did exactly didn't learn from his mistakes did exactly the same against West Ham 2-0 up brings another forward on empties midfield and you say goals. forward no but that's why that's why all the neutrals like us because yeah. the, there's more goals in our net than theirs yeah. you know, if you're yeah, getting beat three twos and four threes I, I wouldn't mind watching yeah. that every yeah. week but is, is that what kept them in the job do you think Ron because everyone would always say in, oh you know what you know we haven't played great football or they have been dead attractive to watch whereas we're sitting here going yeah but we've just thrown away another win another lead another whatever they're all seeing the match of the day highlights thinking Martin is great because he's got this young team playing great but in, in reality he didn't he had them throwing away leads yeah but I think all the time Pet, it's that you, you know we can score goals we can eight chances we can score goals all you got to do 
eventually we'll sort this defence out. But we never. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you just think, again, you're not learning. And, and it's similar way, you know, it's not coincidence. You know, you, know, you can get one, a world in the roof of the net, you can get a flick on and someone will score in the last minute. Or but it happens too many times. Mm, yeah. So eventually you've just got to say, we've got to sort this. Mm. And we were usually good, you know, set pieces and, and whatever, going back down the years. But the more it happens, you know, you look to the manager, and I think where he, he starts losing it is when seasoned pros like Baines and Jags think, yeah. He's not even sorting this out. Mm. And only that Gareth Barry, who was fantastic last yeah. season, great professional, really great professional, mm. is that if they can't speak up and say to the manager, something's going mm. wrong here, um, you know, it, it's wrong. And I, and I just think it's too many. I, I can't believe how many you know, games was it. You end up eight at home. Which is, eight losses. But, but, but you're home, talking yeah. relegation. Yeah. Yeah. It's just unbelievable. If you go back and if you go back to and just reel off the games like Chelsea away, we yeah. scored in the 95th. We, we conceded. Goals yeah. twice yeah. in the ninety eighth minute. It was four, 49 yeah. That was scary with the three three. Well. I think it was a bit of a you know do 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 you know where <laughs> the outer limits if you're old enough to know that. Um, but the three threes, as you say, ninety eight minute was similar to Bournemouth. You haven't learned from that. Yeah. You go, you know, as soon as you take the shut up shot, terrifying. They, they'll do yeah. what? And, and yeah, as you just said over Bournemouth, that's an extra thirty seconds. So straight away, it's like in rugby league where they're getting beaten the host one, yeah. and then there might be a fumble in the next minute. Mm. You know, second ball, so you know what's going to happen. But it's still like we're celebrating. This is happy days. We just took the lead at Bournemouth, and what a lovely travel! It's a next minute, cross comes in, header. Mm. You know, it's 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 ridiculous to be honest. But uh, as I say, I don't think he's got a leg to stand on mm. over the way the season went. How I think, much? And he was only one manager. How much um, the fitness do you think I have to play into that? Because we all we've talked all season about the general lack of fitness and it's no surprise again to me that towards the end of the season we've just been smashed all over the place by by average teams that are just well drilled. Well that's why you've just said average teams you should never ever sort of get beat on fitness. Maybe on yeah. ability ability mm -hmm. and quality, but fitness does a favour. You know, you look at fitness it and, and he loves it, like little short sharp games and a little bit in a five minute break and we'll have the you know, stop it. You know, you've got to be as fit as you can be going on that pitch. And again, you know, you know that's where at the end you mightn't play well, but we could score in the yeah. 89 minutes. Someone's knackered, someone makes a run. There's a crack, and we're coming away winning one nil. But it's it's happened too many times. As I say, fitness level, you should never ever be beat. That's the most basic. If you're a manager, yeah, yeah. we could all well, we could all take a managerial job now. And the first two things we do to any team in in any part of Europe, the world, whatever, is going get them as fit as you possibly can and get them as organised as you possibly can. Now that'll take you so far, then you need your sprinklings who will win your games individually. But if you're fit and organised, the champions, there's no one fitter, no one more organised, no one who works yeah. harder than Leicester City and that's why they had that it's, big parade the other well, week. Well the other one, it's, not, it's, it's no coincidence that Atletico Madrid and mm. in the Champions League, yeah, exactly. yeah. you know, they've pushed for it and, and again, I wouldn't mind watching them every week. Do you know what I mean? Oh, so they so, only win one nil every week, aren't they? Well, oh, no, it's but, but, yeah. but, it, but it's, it's just no. You, you know, you've got to get beat four three. You've got to keep you know, them out. Four three. But, but again, it's it, it's something. You know, there's different ways to win football matches. But I tell you now, I mean, you, you know, as I say, this season especially, Leicester have won the league. Atletico in the Champions League final. That, that proves well, that. You know what terrified me? I seen an interview with them, and I, I, I suppose I found it funny at the time. When in his first season, because basically, you know, he was great. One he, he, he looked like he had the all. Milt say, Mama the Rose, and his mouth, he was that like, I was that excited by him in that first season. But I had seen an interview quite early on with him talking about corner kicks, you know, and he doesn't want to score a goal off corner yeah. kicks because it's parasite football, which he used quite a bit. And I remember just laughing at the time, thinking, oh, what a mad way to think. And as it went on, that was like the biggest well, thing. Well, hang on, yeah. didn't yeah. he win yeah. the cup with that? That was how we won the league. Yeah. 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 Like like yeah. you, you know, yeah. well, I won't call him mental, but uh, <laughs> you just say, you say, do us a favour. You got the biggest on it in your whole career from a set piece, yeah. and you're slaughtering it. Slaughtered that. You won't run. You, you know, know, said the other week when we were, you know, when he was getting pelts as one. At the end. It was quite obvious no one liked them, you know, or very few, apart from someone who sat in an interview with us and told us how we could see the magic out of them, the only two. <laughs> They're both sharing the cell now. But, um, <laughs> a padded one. The, uh, for me, saying the other week, I'll never tell my team to run to the corner flag when we're 1-0 up. Well, we never wouldn't have been 1-0 yeah. up with the Mubby, but if we were 3 two up, because that's not how you win football matches. That's exactly yeah, yeah. how you that's win exactly football. Exactly. Right? It's exactly how you win football. Well, this is where the Messiah for him is Wenger. And that's why he hasn't won the league for yeah. years. And this is why he really, only for a fantastic job he'd done early yeah. on. And when they actually won, 
he had the British at the back. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then yeah. and then your sprinklings then, which I'll give me mate a mention, Bruce Rio, he bought Bear Camp. Yeah, yeah. And then you get Henri in. That, that that's your that's yeah. your fairy dust. But then you end up with he's not learning again. And, and honestly, I, I I can't get me head around. But but, but he's another one who only buys one striker. Yeah, if, he, if he'd have gotten four, two or three, Arsenal well, would well, have two, wiped I mean, the floor actually, I, mean, I used to really like him, as you've done it a long time, and he said, I used to love listening to all the interviews I really did, and then get was fantastic, he used to come in, breath of fresh air, he used to be, go ahead Arsenal, excited again, he used to go out and, the, you know, he'd win way, the league yeah. or he'd win this and you think, okay, he's got the way Martinez has gone, you think, I know what he's going to say before he walks yeah. in, mm. and he's going to blame everyone but himself, yeah, yeah. and something's wrong, this is that, whatever, and you go, no, and that's Martinez. Is, they're like two clones, and, and, and again, I, I just think it's uh, it's wrong. And for us, we, we should be looking higher and better. Okay. And hopefully, we, we will get it. But tell us what you think. Where did it all go wrong this season, or did it go wrong the season before? Well, personally, I think that's, yeah. that's what happened there. Tim Howard not saying much. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> tell us what hopefully. Well, yeah, we had less games this year. It was gonna, we were going to fly. Tell us what you think in the comments. Uh, don't forget to catch up on all the other videos over the season review. We'll see you soon on Top of TV.